today I have a Chromecast that I just factory reset. This is the Chromecast name so far. Chromecast 7814. And I'm going to set it up using Google Home. They used to have a Chromecast app, but not anymore. If you're lucky, when you turn it on, it'll say Chromecast found. And then you just set it up. Uh, let me do something though. I'm going to close this again. Okay. So right now it says there's only one thing attached. It's going to search a little bit. If you're lucky, it'll say one device ready to set up. I think I might have some issues with this. I'm going to set up a device. That's my little kid downstairs making transformer noises. If you're lucky, down Chromecast 7814. Chromecast 7814, and I can set it up. Sometimes I might say no device found if you're in that boat. They'll ask you to unplug the Chromecast and replug it and start this all over again. As I mentioned before, if you go back back to this main screen, there's three ways to set up. One by doing the plus sign that we just did. Another way is it'll have this over here on the top of the screen, set up one device. And it's the same method. And you'll find the Chromecast. The last method, which I'll talk about really quickly, is you can see it found it and you can set it up. Uh, the last method involves actually connecting in your settings Wi Fi. If I go to settings, it's actually you go to settings over here and you go to Wi Fi connections. This is for a Samsung Tab A, I think. Instead of having it connect to Dini Weenie, look for your Chromecast name and connect to it directly first. And this is very relevant for people who have switched their router name, the SSID, the wireless SSID, or just switch their routers. Uh, sometimes it doesn't play well. It, you'll have to connect it this way. Once it connects to this, you can go back to Google Home and start up the process. You may have to force close Google Home, but now when you set up the device, it should find the device very easily. So, And that's it. Those are the three three ways you can set up on a Android tablet. And you can see it's ready to set up. And so I'll, I'll kind of go through the, ste the steps over here. Sorry about being so long-winded. I just wasn't sure if this video had become outdated. I made one like four years ago or something. And it's it's changed a little bit. And over here it says setup is starting. This is a first generation Chromecast. I'm too cheap to buy newer ones, so it's pretty cool that it lasted so long. It's saying, is the code correct? Prods code seems to be correct, and then you click yes. Uh, usually about the helping improve people stuff, usually I say no thanks, because I don't want them to send data over. I'm just going to say randomly, this is in my attic. Click next. And over here, choose your new Wi-Fi SSID. I don't know what your Wi-Fi will be, but my, my current router is Dini Weenie. 
It'll ask you for the password once you click next. I don't know about this. This is up to you if you want to remember the passwords. I'm pretty scared. So I Over here, it's saying connecting the Chromecast right now. I get. I guess I remember the password. If I clicked manually over here instead, I would have had to put in the Wi-Fi password. So sorry about that. I should have just done manually to show you that you'd have to put in the Wi-Fi password if you clicked manually. But anyways, it's done. It's ready to cast. It's recalled Attic TV instead of Chromecast now. I'm ready to go. Good luck, guys.